So hi guys and welcome to the Mercedes Arox. I, I don't know how to say it properly. It's a A A R O C S C Arox. Maybe the Arox. I'm not too sure. But yeah, we'll. I'm going to take a look at this in test drive Thursday today. Have a look at it. It's a heavy duty truck, as you can see. Um, we haven't really done any trucks like this before, so I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. So first of all, let's go and take a look at the customization. Okay then, so here we are in the truck configurator. Now, this mod does also come with an Actros SLT, but this R Arox uh, SLT is a lot more realistic to see these on the road. I've seen quite a lot of um, these SLTs uh, with the Arox format opposed to the Actros format, so I thought we'd take a look at this one. Now, I did uh, actually use this... Um, on the time lapse I did early in the week if um, any of you guys are watching this I've just put a new paint skin on it and changed the um, colour of the uh, rims so nothing else has been changed all the horns and everything the same but anyway so there's only one cabin here the big space only one chassis the 8x4 with this mid lift here which is operational if you press the U key engine so you've got a choice from 5 engine 17 brake horsepower all the way up to 625 brake horsepower with uh, 3,000 newton meters of torque. Now this is the tr well, this is the engine um, that is most likely to be used in this truck. It it that is the max engine in real life, so it's kind of realistic to see that the Euro 6 really efficient. Now this truck does come with the power shift 16 speed here with the retarder, so that's also a realistic transmission however if you wanted to go um, with manual gears and you got a G27 or something the 12 speed uh, these two 12 speeds would be um, will be better for you interior you have to ignore these pink things when you uh, go oh, when you like buy it and go outside then it's fine I just don't know why it's all like that but you just have to ignore it obviously it's just a standard thing uh, either with the silver or with the wood and also if you go with the exclusive you get this leather interior here and this uh, beige mat and then some chrome pieces around here right then so the paint skins did just come with quite a few pre um, pre-installed paint skins here lots of heavy duty ones which are really good I mean this metallic one here does look pretty nice this is the one that I used in the time lapse if you remember that I mean, just down to the detail that these skins, they are really, really nicely done and really high quality. Um, it's really good that they've included um, all these pre-built skins. You obviously customise your own metallic, then you've got your own normal custom colour like that. Now onto the accessories. There are quite a few accessories for you to go through uh, here. If we start down at the bottom with the bumper, um, so you can either have it with or without this cover here. I'm just trying to find a difference. Is there any difference with that? Twice, I can't really see a difference between those two. Um, so you either got it with or without the cover. Pending. Yeah, I can't see the difference. So you got either with or without the cover. And personally, I do like it without the cover. Um, yeah, a lot. Or oh, be able to see a lot more of the detail down here. There's two little dust door steps to choose from. You got the stock or the serpent with this sort of corrugated look, which looks really nice up here. You can either have the plastic pieces here or with the stock paint. Personally, I prefer the paint up here. So there's two ball bars to choose from, um, which both of them actually fit uh, around the grill really nicely they follow the lines of the truck which looks really good obviously you can put all of your um, sort of lights up here everything that you'd want which is uh, really nice up here and then here you can change the color of the grill so you can either go with this plastic or the paint there's no chrome option sadly but um, those are your options there you can also have the across Arcos, Arcos badge in different places um, depending on what paint skin it would fit it better so there is that there and then up here you can change the colour of this window frame here which fits all the way around here and swoops around here 
so yeah in some places it works some places it doesn't work I mean there it works as it follows that line but um, if you take uh, that it works there because it follows that a bit better um, but something like this you can see the paint skin doesn't work properly so here if it was me I'd go with something like that and it does look better with that skin anyway uh, with the black surrounds following this on um, which is really nice and along here you've got all your stock options with the paint that looks pretty cool the way that lines up with the mirror flowing right down there um, and also have a chrome piece down there which is all well nice um, the three choices of the side mirror I do like it when mods put this in because SCS only um, provide the boring plastic one and I do like uh, this one to, um, to be honest I'm not a big fan of that one I think it's a bit too much that one but the nice little paint on the end which is really good and the same with that that's the way I'd like to have it there is two um, sun visors to choose from it would be nice to see a lot more but these really do suit the truck with the uh, bolts here um, really do give that heavy duty vibe or, or you can also have um, completely without along the sides here you can obviously move the badges around um, same with that as well looks like there's two separate pieces door mirrors badges once again along here you've got not too sure what that does and at the back here there's two different types of hitches now this is for um, when they're carrying some really heavy weights and you need multiple tractors um, to carry uh, so I have it completely without or um, something like that and now that I believe attaches um, like to some kind of mechanism that attaches to this so two trucks or tractors whatever you want to call them um, will then pull a load now on the top here you can either have it with this um, sort of plain more stock plastic fenders as they're called here or mud guards um, but you can also have it with this more heavy duty uh, metal look or this one here where it folds down there going around the uh, sort of tag lift that mid lift sorry personally I, I do prefer that I think it finishes it off nicely it's a lot more subtle as well up here you can change the uh, colour of these covers now depending on what you go here uh, it sort of suits better so if you go with this plastic line here the plastic um, cover here does suit it better as it flows right round so you can see you can either have it open or closed and then you can also have it with paint as well if you wanted it to blend in a lot better now it also does come with some well its own light bars up here now some of these are quite realistic I did I was looking at um, this truck earlier on the Mercedes website and it does come um, I believe it's a factory option with this uh, ball bar so here go your uh, beacons well the beacon was here on the uh, photo I was looking at so a small beacon go there another beacon here and then on the photo it also had some uh, big lights up here and it looked a lot like this and it also had the is it the silver grey? yeah the silver grey so it looked a lot like this from the photo so it's good that they've incorporated some realistic light bars here which is really good and then you've also got all your more stock ones depending on where you want it but yeah I'm really happy about the customization up here you can also have uh, the horns on the side the beacons on, on the side whatever you want and if you're not going for the beacons on the uh, light bar you can also have it at the top now this mod does support cabin accessories uh, but it is a separate um, file in the mod folder that you need to install I didn't install it because I, to be honest I'm not a massive fan of the cabin accessories so I just uh, didn't really install it but now you can have um, obviously changing your wheel in here which is a new thing uh, but that's pretty much it so now I'm going to show you a time lapse of me building this truck to my spec
So here it is, all finished off really nicely. I do like the way the uh, rims have sort of matched, and, like the silver surrounds, matched the white, the yellow, obviously matching the end and the black and the black. It looks really um, coordinated and really good. I really do like the way that's turned out. I'm not too sure what that country code is, dot BE. Um, really not too sure. But anyway, I have got a job scheduled in. So let's go and get that. I've just noticed that I've still got the wood on the wheel. That's probably going to annoy a lot of people. I don't really mind it, but it's just not matching. So let's quickly change it back. I do like that feature though, but it's not massively helpful. So let's start this up. It's already on the digital display. If we let's look at the lights up there, put it on to daytime running. And then if you have a look down there at sort of uh, the power shift gear selector, see how it changes. Now if you're on manual, obviously that doesn't move, but um, see that's so cool the way it changes like that. Such a cool little feature. It just adds. Um, I, I do believe that this truck, or the Actros at least, um, does come with a manual transmission, but obviously they're not that popular anymore. I'm not too sure if they're any more well, any cheaper because I'm guessing not many people have them. So probably don't make many of them. All right then. All right, once we've picked up the trailer, I'm going to start talking about more about the truck in real life, some of the features that it has. Um, but yeah, first of all, it just feels like an Actros. Um, I really do like the way these things drive. They're super smooth. The dials are super easy to read, especially that digital display. Um, everything has been thought about um, in this truck, and everything is where it should be. I like the way it looks. Uh, I think it looks quite aggressive from the outside, especially with that grille. Um, but just, I don't know, I like the gear, the way it tells you where the gear is. I like the all the dials are in the right places. Sat nav is easy to read uh, from where you're sitting, you don't have to glance over anything. Mirrors are absolutely huge. See for miles. And uh, yeah, it's just a great truck, this. So I believe if we're picking up the correct trailer, this will look pretty good. So let's go freight market, and then here we go. So the Volvo BM642, 8 tons, so it's not massively heavy hauling. Uh, but it's definitely oversized, so we're going to need the beacons. Look at the way it picks up speed there, this 625 brake. 3000 newton meters of torque in this thing. It's just amazing. How much torque these engines can have, and how efficient they are. Let's just reverse up. Not too sure if I've got advanced coupling on or not. No, I don't. But yeah, just look at that. That looks so cool with the black and the uh, sort of silver on the bottom there, the yellow and the yellow. Everything looks really good. So as I said early, uh, earlier, I did drive this on the time lapse. So as you can see, it's done quite a few miles now, 418 miles. It's currently averaging 32 litres every 100 mile, which isn't bad at all for a truck. Um, I haven't filled it up since, since done that amount of miles, and we're still pretty much full. We've still got a or range of 1,476 miles and 760 litres of fuel left in this thing. So, let's get on the way. Now, even with a trailer like this, look at the way it just pulls away. So much torque in this thing. Right then. As I said, the visibility is great. These huge windows and the huge mirrors really do help you. Right then. Let's just turn the beacons up. Well, the AI. Still doesn't know how to uh, drive. 
What a great idea it was to stop stop there. Right, stop. I'm gonna hit him as well, aren't I? Oh, that was close. I was right on the curve then. But anyway, so the Arcus or the Arox, Arox, I'm not, I still don't know how to say it, the SLT. So it's designed and built purposely for uh, operations up to 250 tons. It's just amazing, really. Um, so, completely new cabs, obviously, based on the standard um, Matros. As I said, great cabin. I really do like it. I like the interior, I like the design, I like the looks. Yeah, it looks really nice. I'm not too sure what's wrong with that car though. It looks a bit broken. What did I hit? Why are people stopping on the roundabout? <sighs> the AI. Turn. I'm just trying to pull out. Just wow. turn into this lane. We might be able to get out of here, so um, they've got extreme power these things. As I said, the 625 brake horsepower the engine ranges go up to, um, or 460 kilowatts if you don't work in horsepower. And as I said, 3000 newton meters of torque. And that's um, connected to a, the Mercedes PowerShift 3 transmission, 16 speed, automatic, um, some of the key features about it, it's got a manoeuvring mode and it automatic holds the gears uh, for when you're going downhill and it's also got a rocking mode for when the truck well, may get stuck um, which is really cool, so it's really designed around uh, heavy haulage but are these, are these coaches cloned here? what is going on? Surprised here, I can even pull out of there. Right then. How is this going to work? Let's turn my indicator off. Either way. And then when you go, they go. Which is so annoying. I like the way the in indicators are integrated at the top there. The lights, it's really nice. Anyway, let's get going. Let's put this power onto the Scottish roads. Can we get into this lane? No, that's not going to let us in. And also it's got an eco roll mode to save fuel when you're going downhill, which is uh, really good. Which is probably why this truck is doing so well on the fuel. Obviously we're still acc accelerating here, so it's not going to be great. And also the gearbox has got uh, three different driving modes like a lot of cars do nowadays. Um, and they can also be operated whilst on the move. Right, we do need to change lanes here. I hate the way to do that. Uh, which is really good. I'm not too sure where you change those modes. It may be on the end of that stalk there. Transmission stalk. To be honest, I, I'm not a big fan of those stalks. I'd rather have sort of a dial or something that comes out of the dash, or maybe even even on the display um, that you can change between drive, neutral, reverse, and all your manoeuvring modes and stuff. That'd be cool, like a transmission tab. Maybe that's where it's going, or maybe voice control. Maybe that. If you get some dodgy passengers saying whilst you're on the move, go into reverse. That probably won't be great. But with this 16 speed here, you can see we're in 14th gear. Um, we're in the eco zone. We've still got two more gears to go. Obviously, I can't override it. Your truck isn't that advanced. But if I put my foot down, that will keep the cruise control engaged and it may just switch up a gear. I am overriding it now, but there's no way to sort of change it up. Oh, there we go, that's 15. So hopefully it's now going to hold that gear for me. 
yeah there you go so now it's uh, doing lower revs and we're currently averaging what around 40 really is about 60 miles an hour it's really good really good on fuel these uh, fuel these trucks obviously it's got the transmission here it's the unique turbo retarder clutch and it's uh, completely wear free so yeah as I said all those features that I've just been talking about the engine uh, the transmission there, and the retarder they give really great control show how this truck is definitely designed for its purpose but it's weird for me because I usually drive with the manual transmission so I don't usually go for the automatic and I don't like the way it I don't know you can't really balance it it's either not moving or when you put your foot down it's just constantly changing down gears and it doesn't really move as quick as if you were just to put your foot on gently and it go up the gears gradually if you see what I mean prefer manual to be honest I've got more control over what I'm doing see now how we go it should be changing now but I think it changes a bit too late this auto but on the motorway it's a great to cruise in this thing it's super quiet on the country lanes with this 625 brake it really is quite quick I mean, turning is pretty good the way the dash is also uh, laid out you get really good sort of visibility down there and you can depending on where you have your seat uh, you can line it up with the road markings to sort of always uh, give a guide of where you're on the road and keep in the lane uh, which is what I do this trailer is pretty long so I don't really notice but I definitely do like this skin with the trailer it's really good and those fuel tanks on the back they give so much fuel we hardly used any we're at about a quarter of a tank now we've done or three quarters of a tank now we've done 500 miles so you won't be filling this thing up very quickly and also the chassis so with the next factory option it comes with a steel suspension in or as a three axle as a three axle uh, chassis it comes with six by four six by six and also with the four axles which is what we've got it comes with an 8x4, 8x6 and an 8x8 configuration and there's also um, air suspension options with the 6x4 and the 8x4 I'm not too sure if this truck has the air suspension I'm really not too sure about that but um, yeah the truck also contains some very tough and reliable equipment to suit heavy haulage like it's got the front and rear couplings which I was talking about in the configuration um, it's got a heavy duty fifth wheel uh, trailer hydraulics and ballast ballast um, platforms so yeah as I said really designed to suit its purpose but to be honest from this mod I'd like to see a, a few more different interiors I know this is a realistic one but it'd be nice to have like a black one it's, um, yeah with a heavy duty truck there'd be a lot of dust in here and with the beige I don't think that would uh, stay clean for very long yeah, that's what I'd like overall I think the customization on this mod is really good you're not well you can make a show truck out of this thing I mean you can put some chrome rims on it you've got all the different options you like bars and everything or you can go with a complete workhorse with more of a skin like uh, this even though it still looks pretty nice I have to say um, but it's it's not too over the top and I don't think it really needs to be um, there isn't really a point to that because the reason you're driving this is to do heavy haulage in this game so yeah the customization is great I think the texturing is pretty good they've done a pretty good job of implementing everything 
and um, yeah if you just have a look at the detail down at the back by the fuel tanks I mean just look at that I showed it uh, well I've shown you it in the start of the video and a little montage but yeah you got the ladder propped up on there and there's so much detail down there you probably won't have even noticed the reversing lights that are plonked on there the three of them it's just really really nicely done and I'm really impressed by that let's slow down So we uh, assist it with a bit of the break there, but where are we? So we've got 47 miles to go up to Oban. Um, obviously we're still driving in Scotland. Because uh, I thought I'd go with a right-hand drive. I don't usually go uh, with them. And a lot of the time, mods don't support right-hand drive. They're only in left-hand drive format. So when I saw this mod supporting right-hand drive, I thought, why not? Let's uh, go in the UK and take a few tours around because pro mods it's um, a really really nice place to drive and it sort of suits a truck like this and especially with the paint skins uh, that this truck comes pre-installed with I think there's a few Scottish ones up in there so that's what inspired me to originally come here in the time-lapse and there's also quite a lot of quarries around here as well so that's why we're up here but would I recommend you to download this mod? Yes, I really would. If you get a oversized trailer mod like this or heavy trailer mod or something like that, you will have a lot of fun driving this around. It's, as I said, it's super smooth um, to drive about. The visibility is great. Um, and yeah, you won't spend hardly any time wasting um, or any time wasted at the fuel station. It's just you driving around the map. I think it's also a great um, truck to tour around the map with because it's got such large tanks on the back. You can take some really long um, sort of oversized, oversized trailer mods, which you do see quite a lot of going super distance. And um, yeah, you would really enjoy it in this truck. So I'd have to say this is probably the best oversized trailer truck mod ever um, being implemented into your truck so yeah that's pretty good I really do recommend this and we haven't taken a look at it today but it, as I said it also comes with the Actros um, it's not only this R Arox mod but I do prefer the grill on this truck it looks so aggressive you just look at that it looks like teeth in rows right, rows of shark teeth really good I really do like the Mercedes styling um, also the horn can't actually hear the horn yeah there's the stock horn not too bad but yeah it's a really nice truck texturing is great on the interior the sounds are pretty good pretty realistic and everything's nice about it so yeah, if you want to download it, if I remember, I will put a link to it in my mod spreadsheet. And you can, there's a link to my mod spreadsheet in the description below. And you'll find it underneath the Eurotruck tab, and then underneath the truck tab. Yeah, it's been a really nice uh, little drive here. The only thing I'd have to say is, on this right-hand drive spec, why is the um, speedometer in kilometers an hour? It's a bit weird. But that may be just the SCS problem. But that is weird having it in kilometres. So that's why I usually run the digital one anyway. So let's turn in here. Look at this. Single track bridge. Right then, so... Let's go over the bridge. Finally gone green. I was waiting there for about a minute. But yeah, look at this. It looks so good. Look at that. Beastly. Wait, so looks like we're dropping off the farm. Put in front of this car. So here we go, let's see what it's like to reverse. It should be pretty easy with these huge mirrors that are fitted to the Mercs. And just uh, swing 
it round. Sorry for it, I go quiet for a minute. So I am concentrating trying to get this in. So I'm not the best at reversing this, you will know. So I switch through so many trucks, it's hard to get used to them. It does come with multiple reverse gears, this I think it's four in total. Not sure why you'd need so many, but we're there. Brake on, lights off, engine off. So, or oh, reverse up, send the beacons off as well. That sounded weird, dropping that off. But 165 miles, 11 grand, and up to level 6, oh, 166, sorry. But there you go, the Mercedes Arox, R Arox. SLT. So anyway, thank you for watching this. If you did enjoy it, please do click that like. I'd really appreciate that. And hopefully I will see you very soon. So goodbye.